All right, Josh, talk to me about this. We can show this email on the screen, by the way. These are emails obtained using FOIA, the Freedom of Information Act, that show uh, lobbyists for Burisma wanting to get in contact with the Obama administration using Hunter Biden's name. Isn't this exactly what the Bidens have denied happened? The short answer to that, Liz, is yes. I mean, FOIA is a hell of a drug. FOIA litigation in the federal courts is oftentimes crazy just because of what it, it ends up divulging. And this is no different than that. The timeline here is pretty crazy. It looks like one month before Joe Biden pressured Ukraine to fire this, this prosecutor who was looking into Burisma, literally one month before that, Burisma was in communication with the U.S. State Department trying to get a meeting, and they were expressly name-dropping Hunter Biden as a reason to get that meeting. I mean, Liz, the left wants to talk about foreign interference, foreign governments, foreign corporations, everyone kind of uh, defiling our sovereignty and meddling in our affairs. Look at this. Look at what is going on here. A foreign corporation, and look, a foreign corporation, they, they can do whatever they want. They, they're allowed to request things. They're allowed to lobby. That's their right. But to do so in this manner, to expressly name drop in communication with the State Department that the reason they want this meeting is because the vice president at the time's son is on the board, that is that that is wild that is that is a wild wild revelation and Good there's for no John way Solomon for, for the mainstream media or the democrats to deny this by the way because again we have that email we showed it on the screen we can show it on the screen again because there's another point in this email that i want to that i want to bring to everyone's attention not only is everything that you just said true not only did they name drop hunter biden to try to get uh, a meeting with the obama administration state department they expressly said they wanted to talk about corruption investigations into Burisma. Exactly what Joe Biden ended up doing for them in that video that we've all seen a hundred times where he brags about a quid pro quo getting, you know, the Ukrainian president to fire the prosecutor who was investigating Burisma, the, the company on which his son sat on a board. That's what this email expressed that the, the lobbyist said. That's what they wanted to talk about. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, Liz, the left is nothing, it, they are nothing if not hypocritical. They are wailing and gnashing their teeth about foreign interference and foreign corruption and quid pro quo. They have done 10 to 100 times worse on those on their exact own terms, on their own playing field, how they are defining the problem than anything that, that the Trump administration has done. So there really can be no doubt after this FOIA revelation that there very clearly is corruption. And this kind of gets to the broader point, Liz, which is something, a, a case that I've, that I've been slowly been making. And I, I want to see this happening more with other commentators. The Trump administration needs to stop saying no quid pro quo. They need to just defend what happened on the merits, I think. They need to explain that foreign aid, when we are in the process of giving out taxpayer dollars in foreign aid, it is completely appropriate to attach strings on that. When Mick Mulvaney, when, when, when he said that we do this all the time in foreign policy, that's the way it should be. We should want to closely monitor how our taxpayer-funded foreign aid is out there. And with this FOIA email out there, the people, the American people can see for themselves the level of corruption, the level of, of venality that is there.